Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have, again, the 2025 IMO question three, part two for you guys. So why don't we just get into the question? Well, I believe you have already read this. So you know that in the last video, we have proved that for large primes, we know that f of p is just one. But this to us isn't good enough because we need to know about all of the primes. Well, to do that, we need to use something called the Richelieu's theorem of arithmetic progressions. So it says that let a and m are in integers and a and m are co-prime. Then there are infinitely many prime numbers in the sequence of a, a plus m, a plus 2m, dot, 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 a plus km, dot, dot, dot. And k is just a natural number. Well, how does this help? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let a new prime number. We're going to call it p prime. And this prime number is actually not going to be equal to 2. And I'll explain this later. So that we know that p prime is just an odd prime. So know that this odd prime and two must be co-prime. So using Dirichlet's theorem of AP, then we can see that there are infinitely many prime numbers in the sequence of two plus k, k times P prime. So that means that in this sequence, we can find a very, very large prime, P, such that P will be congruent to 2 mod P prime. And to emphasize this, this means that P is not congruent to 1 mod P prime. And this is a very important information. So now, as you can see, I have no more space. So I'll just rub out this Dirichlet theorem of AP. So now I'm going to try and figure out that f of any odd prime would be equal to 1. And to do that, I'm going to create a new property, P of P prime and P. And this will be using that f of P prime will divide p to the power of p prime minus f of p to the power of f of p prime and we know that f of p is equal to one so this is just equal to p to the power of p prime minus one hmm. okay so we know that f of p prime like we said in the last video will always be equal to p prime to the power of k and if k is not equal to zero then we know that p prime will divide f of p prime so since p prime divides f of p prime and f of p prime divides p to the p prime minus one then we know that p prime will divide p to the p prime minus one and if we use fermat's little theorem then we know that this is just congruent to p minus one mod p prime so we know that p prime must divide p minus one but this is impossible because we know that p is not congruent to one mod p prime so this is wrong which means that k must equal to zero which means that for any odd prime f of p must be equal to one so i'll just write it here f of n is equal to one if n is an odd prime So this is actually the end of part two. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoy my videos and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.